Hi, I'm Vince West, and this is the final on my eggplant. I don't know, the decals don't seem to have come out the, oops, sorry, the same way as what was on the uh, box, but I'm only kidding. I was just goofing around and decided to paint up my silly putty and put some wings on him. <laughs> He's an egg. But anyway, here's what I got so far. If I can turn him around a little. Oop, too far in. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> um, just a quick moment on the decals. As you saw in my first update, there are a lot of them. There's probably almost as many as that's on a funny car. The other issue that I found with these is that these decals are so thin and so fragile that they, uh, they shatter pretty easily. And I'll show you my latest example. I just put the numbers on. Notice the bottom of the eight. I was spreading out the salva set and I pushed instead of pulled and now I got a little tiny gap there at the bottom. And I've had that problem all over this build. So let me show you the, a couple of quick pictures of some of the damage. The number one thing I found is, I know a lot of guys are having problems with the decals releasing from the paper. What I found is you need extremely hot water and you need to keep it hot. Um, I've been taking uh, my little water bucket and throwing it into the microwave and reheating it for about a minute uh, at reheat. That keeps it warm for uh, a minute or two, and then as it gets, if it gets cold at all, you're probably in trouble. Uh, I know uh, I don't have one, but one suggestion would be to get one of those co coffee warmer little platforms that you put it on, and I would probably set it to fairly high because um, I was using it with steaming hot water. And it took like five seconds for it to release from the paper. I mean, I'd dip it in, hold it there for five seconds, and it'd be ready to come off. So maybe I'm a little too hot, but it worked for me. The other thing is um, paint touch-ups <laughs> really became a necessity to me. What I've done was I mixed paint and filled in a lot of the gaps. There were a lot of gaps at the front of a lot of things and also at the back. Um, here's the bottom. There's a lot of, a lot of damage on the sides that I painted in and cracks and gaps and all sorts of stuff but it's coming along I'm almost satisfied I also painted the uh, canopy there we go Oop. it's focusing on my thumb maybe I don't know Anyway, that's not working. Um, I masked it and then painted it by hand. 
with a paintbrush. So I got that done. Um, I still, I gotta wait for this paint to dry for a day or two. And then I'll clear coat it if I ever finish getting Salva set on here. That's the other thing I've been using an awful lot of Salva set to get these things around the corners, but I'm getting there. There we go. Try and get this thing to focus. I just got a new uh, download of, of or an update, and the they changed the camera on me, so I'm having fighting with that. Oh, one of the other things I meant to mention, the update, uh, the first update, I put 12 BBs in the front to make sure this wasn't going to be a tail sitter. Just super glued them into, into the front. So, eventually it'll sit up around here somewhere. Something like that. But anyway. Well, that's where I'm at. And... I keep uh, plugging away at it. I've still got uh, three decals to do. There's a red stripe that goes from here down and underneath and back up the other side. And that's three decals. I just couldn't face it today. Uh, so I did my touch-up paints and uh, waiting for things to dry before I really go nuts and uh, do those last ones and I'll let them dry and then I'll uh, clear coat it to make sure he's nice and shiny like a demonstration jet should be. Okay, well thanks for watching and we'll see you later. Take care. Bye bye. Thank you for watching Vincent Weston. Models foam the dungeon.